here's my drain plug. Put it in. Same same stuff. PL Premium. The uh, Fast Cure. Um, so I left it a little proud. As you can see there. And here. I will leave it just a tad bit proud. But I took the belt sander and sanded it off. Flush. Or just a little bit up. I might take this side off just a tad. But that'll put me about flush. And then um, I don't want to take too much out. I don't want to take, you know, I want to leave some of the glue around the edge there. But I, I definitely don't want it like this. So I'll sand this off. And um, that way it'll be a nice, good, clean looking fit. Today we're priming. Woo! -hoo! I already started. Oh well, that's the way it works. Um, that's when I remember. I'm like, shit, I should take some video. Because I started, you know. So, you can see the high spots, low spots, all that spots that were filled in by the fairing. Now we're pretty smooth. I got a couple lines right through here. At this point, I am not worrying about it. It is three weeks from the day that I started. July 4th is today. And we're going to get some paint on this bugger. So I'm priming it this morning. By tonight, hopefully we'll have the top coat on it. And uh, Sunday, I plan on flipping it. Got, got Frank coming back over. And uh, we're going to flip it and get it on the trailer. It's good stuff. So um, for any of you that don't know this, since I'm in the remodeling business, this is a whizzer roller. That's what we call it. And... Um, yeah, my brother showed me that. He was working for a painting company at the time, and he's like, this thing's cool. I was like, that's that's a little turd roller. You know, what good is that thing? Well, yeah, I became a convert after I used it on some uh, railing banisters. And uh, so any of these projects like this, it works great. Um, gets all these little nooks and crannies. You just turn it on its edge and slide it down there to load it up. You see where I did this already. This is all rolled gets everywhere you want to get so um, wizard rollers pretty cool stuff so uh, the paint product nothing special one two three primer um, love that stuff sticks to everything get it on your hands go to wash it off five seconds later and it doesn't want to come off I mean how can you complain about that sanding 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 and more sanding. So I primed her up and then sanded it off. And you can see the high spots and low spots and so forth. I'm gonna go back. You know, I did the wax paper. You can see the line right here. I did the wax paper trick on that. Well, apparently they don't make wax paper like they used to because I did that before at one point, like eight or nine years ago and it worked. This time it just stuck. Just, I mean stuck belt sanded it, all that. You can still see the line. So, um, I didn't fare that a second time because I was like, I might have to grind it all off. But apparently at this point, everything seems to be sticking to it just fine. So I guess the uh, epoxy just pretty much saturated that paper and stuck it there. We're gonna do the, let me get my camera strap out of here. Bow eye today. I got the, I got fairing on it. You can see it skimmed on there, out in the sun to try to dry. Of course today, Mike, it's going to get hot enough, but we got a little cold front coming through, and I'm using slow, so I'm just kind of waiting. Okay, so my bow trim piece is made to fit right in there, using oak. Um, I recessed out. For the eye, you can see the outline right here. So it just kind of fits just in like so, and I'll I'll seal it and all. Now that that bolt was longer, and you can see I cut it off. I threaded a nut on there, cut it off, and then unthreaded the nut just to make sure I could chase the. Um, threads if I needed to 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butt these up and use this coupler bolt to tighten down against there. Because with these boats, see how wide my stem is on this framed boat. I need something that'll make that distance. So I ended up buying the coupler bolt and this all thread. Now it's electric coated galvanized. I have some cold galvanizing compounds. So once I get it all together, I'll spray it with that. Plus I'll glue it all in place. So I made this piece up. It's got a little index there for my stainless steel rub rail or rub guard. And I just set it in place. And I did a little pilot drill bit to get an index and then I drilled it out bigger with a paddle bit and um, so that that will fit in there like so and then the, this part of the you know obviously it'll be turned around and then a long all thread will go all the way through so that's kind of how I'm doing the um, the bow eye all right um, remember the other day I shot the uh, video how I did the bow eye. Um, I just put that in using the PL Premium Fast Cure. Uh, attached it. So that's it right there. And I had notched that out with my fine tool or multi master or whatever. And my, my black mouth cur says, hey, it's. July 4th, we should be doing something fun, shouldn't we? Don't be not paying attention to me, I'm taking your photo with a little tail wagon. I gotta get under here. Alright, so there's the eye, the all thread going into the uh, stem. Drilled that blind, went dead center. Got pretty lucky on that one. Sometimes it's hard to get them to do that. As you can see, it doesn't look like it's real high on the boat, does it? <laughs> but it's got a pretty good bit of rocker in it. So if we go flat, which is right about like that, you can see it's down there a good ways. So I think that should line up well. Primed it today, fared up my top side of my spray rail. You can see I need to fill in right there a little bit, but I got most of it done pretty good. I was hoping to get top coat on it, but that'll have to be tomorrow. Um, but it's looking, it's looking pretty good for a bunch of two by fours and some plywood.